Okay. So welcome everyone. It's an honor to have you here celebrating. We all, you know, the world, it's so important to take time out to celebrate, especially now. And um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Marla Lee and I love drumming and I don't just love drumming to just play the drums. I just, I love the whole uh, ceremonial aspect of drumming and all of its amazing healing, ben healing benefits. So I'm gonna begin today um, by uh, doing a little, um, little drumming and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the flow of today's, today's event. So it's kind of like a, a ceremony party. And I want to invite you guys for the time that we are going to be together that you, you know, just be present and give yourself this gift, you know, give yourself, God knows there's so many, so much other crazy stuff going on. We're all about joy and celebrating from the heart and exploring the drum. The, the way it was used thousands of years ago as a tool for healing and, and ceremony. So. I'm going to begin by just playing for you guys and just to help ground in the moment. And one of the things we're going to focus on today is creating your 2021 power rhythm and your power intentions. So this is like the goal. I like having goals and, and, you know, focuses of things. And this is so important right now because obviously we've had such a crazy year. Um, so as I, as I play, I want to start to invite you um, to think about that. Think about what your intentions might be, your power intentions, not just like, oh yeah, maybe I'll do this, but something that like calls to your deep passion, okay? For yourself or for the planet? For both. We get to dream big this year. So how today's celebration is going to flow is that we are going to um, have some invocations through the drumming. And we're going to drum together and um, releasing <laughs> and then creating new beginnings for next year. And what you're gonna need to have is something sweet, okay? So if you have not yet brought that with you, if you have something sweet that you can have nearby, we like to recommend cacao if you have cacao, but I know not everybody has cacao. 
a cup of tea. Um, this isn't tea, this is chocolate, but you know, uh, a cup of tea or something sweet to have. Like, this is the time to get it if you don't have it. And then also a journal, a journal and something sweet. And I would love for people to type below where they are from. We have Portugal, we have Olymp Olympia, Washington, we have Orange County, Tunisia. Wow, this is amazing. It's amazing. Nashville, Albuquerque, Scotland. Oh my gosh, I'm getting the chill. Amazing. I mean, this is the one of the beauties of COVID. The only beauties, well, for, for me, it makes my students practice more and it makes me practice more because we're home. And also it's just like, we get to connect with so many people around the world. Are you guys reading this? So we have Jersey City, we have Chile, Germany, Ottawa, Texas, Palestine. Palestine, wow, amazing. Oregon, wow, amazing. This is so special. So Idaho, lots of people from all around the world. Thank you so much for spending your time here with us today. So we're gonna do some drumming today. We're gonna to have some invocations, a releasing invocation, and then we're gonna have, it's all about bringing in the joy and bringing in your intentions for 2021. Have some drumming for that. And then we're gonna open it up. I run a online academy called Frame Drum Academy, and I've invited some of my grads um, to drum if they are an offering. And I don't know who's gonna share. I just said, if you wanna show up and drum. So we're gonna have some time for that. And if you guys want to um, share, if you are someone there, and if you also would like to share something, you're not an Academy graduate, I will have a little time for that, like not the whole time, but I wanna open it up for some people to share. Um, you can raise your hand. I guess that there is a way to raise your hand under reactions. You can just raise your hand right now and, and I can call on you that way. So we're gonna have that. And then we have a special guest, Barbara. Leon's, I don't ever know if I'm saying her name right, the last name right, but um, she is going to be blessing us with a uh, like a 2021 tarot card reading and numerology reading. So, you know, as a drummer, we are all into numerology. So there's just like so many, so many aspects. And so I'll let Barbara talk more about that, but we're really honored to have her do this. She's, she's awesome at it. I kind of had a, a little before and I was like, oh my gosh, will you please do this with our students? So this is coming up and, um, you know, again, it's one thing to just drum and then it's one thing to use the numerology and the meditation of that and, you know, you tarot cards and, and the reading of that and, and connecting it with the spiritual realm in your drumming. So with that kind of offering, we're going to uh, use the something sweet to focus on our 2021 intentions. And you guys are going to work on creating your power rhythm, which is going to be really, really fun. So you're going to walk away today with one power rhythm. There's going to be many power rhythms in 2021. But today you're going to create one. And I'm not going to have you write it down. It's going to be in the moment. And um, this is something, you know, I want to invite you guys to do anytime because, you know, it's, it's so important to have drumming in your life, to have a tool, to have outlets, dance, uh, cooking, have creative outlets to express yourself. And so you guys are all here because it's a drumming party. So you obviously like drumming. So I really want to encourage you guys to commit more to playing in the new year because it will help you and your loved ones so much. And so after we have our tarot card reading and numerology session, we're going to close with um, uh, like a, a meditation that I'm gonna be guiding you through. So we have a lots of plans today and I'm really excited. And wow, amazing. You know, what's really special about drumming um, is just all of the ancient roots, right? It's an instrument that exists in cultures all over. The world. And so here we are on this global drum party celebrating our life. And, you know, really can take a moment to connect your ancestry. You know, think about it, like your ancestors probably drummed and where were they from? You know, each culture has their own type of drumming. Um, I personally love frame drumming, so I'm, I'm really fascinated by the cultures of that.
but you know, all kind of drumming from all over the all over the world. It's like it's it's quite amazing. And I mean, it would be really fun to create a rhythm with each one of you with your roots. Like, say you're from Brazil, so we get a Brazilian rhythm, and then the next person is from Scotland, and then we get a, Scot a Scottish rhythm, and we create a little song with that. That would be fun. Okay, so we're going to begin with having you guys get a drum. You guys have a drum? And you can have any type of drum. Let's see your drums. All right, I'm going to. You guys want to see each other? Just look at look at this. Look at you guys. You're so beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. You guys are beautiful. Okay. So we can have any type of drum for this. And our first invocation is our release rhythm. Oh my goodness. Do you guys have anything that you want to release from 2020? Was it a stressful year for anybody? <laughs> like, we could just do like a whole like, you know, month long class just to release this stuff from 2020. So really, um, you're invited to play whatever you want. And um, I'm gonna play the shaman drum. I'm gonna play the heartbeat. And um, I just really wanna in invite you to have a meditation and just take a moment, close your eyes. And really just focus on a few things. Maybe they're like three things that you're like, all right, I'm ready to let go of that, you know? And it doesn't have to just be about you. It could be for the planet. It could be for, you know, healing for the planet, you know, that the virus goes um, and, you know, there's peace on the earth. There's no, no more global warming. <laughs> it could be so many prayers. Um, just take a moment and reflect on, you know, things that you would like to and you, if you want to write in your journal, this is a good time to just write a few words, whatever comes to you. And maybe this is on a separate piece of paper because you can burn this later. If you have some kind of ceremony you like to do, New Year's ceremony, you want to burn this at, at the end, this is a nice thing to do. We don't burn our intentions. We can definitely burn the things we want to release though. Randy, you are not muted. <laughs> so again, you're taking a moment and focusing on some things you would like to release. to release please pick up your drum and play any rhythms you want however you want to however you want to play the drum
And last thing, before you put your drum down, do this. Please join me on this. This is a great way to release or bring in. But for right now, we're releasing. So really, the things you would like to let go of for 2021, feel them in your hands. Can you feel them in your hands? And are you ready to let that go? And when you are, you simply... Sound effects, welcome. I can't hear you. <laughs> Shoo. Shoo. So before we move on to bringing things in, the things we want to manifest in 2021, if there's anything else you want to write, about what you want to release in your piece of paper, your journal, this is a good time to do so. I'll do a little more fleet. <laughs> So now for the joyous time <laughs> to focus in the coming 2021. And um, I would love to teach you a rhythm. And I'm just going to recite it. And if you know, I'm not going to teach any drum technique during this. Um, and if you don't know how to play it, you can just, I'm going to make it rhythm really simple. Um, but uh, just do your best, you know? That'd be really fun for us to play together in unison as we open up the portal for bringing in joy and light and magic for 2021. Because, gosh, it is so needed. I feel like we're doing, like, the work for the planet right now. Like, there are so many people on this call from all over the world. And if you can take this good energy and, and the vibrations and bring it into your community, we can cure COVID, right? <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. Or just bring more peace on the planet. That's <coughs> your COVID. Oh, we have somebody who unmuted themselves. There we go. So um, again, I'm going to I'm gonna play some frame drums. These are frame drums. They're my babies. And um, when we recite rhythms on the frame drum, we use Middle Eastern drum strokes. And one of the things I just love so much about drumming, whether it be Middle Eastern, Indian, African, whatever type of drumming you are playing, each stroke has a, a vocalization. So when I'm drumming, you know, my mind can't wander. And I just love that. It really helps, you know, focus your mind. And it's, it's like drumming is a form of meditation. And so, you know, meditation is the secret to um, a healthy and happy life. So... I really appreciate the, the medicine of the drum that way because it really helps focus my mind. So we're gonna do, um, we're gonna keep it a super, super simple rhythm. And for people who have more experience, you know what I'm gonna say, uh, to just create your own variations from it, okay? So the rhythm is gonna go like this. I can't drum and hold the microphone up. <laughs> uh, so, doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, ta. Ka, doom, doom, pa, doom, doom. And then we're actually going to do two tatas. Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. And you guys all say that? Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. Oh my gosh. Can we all say this together? I'm going to unmute everybody. I would love for us all to hear each other. Here we go. I'm going to. Oh, 
forget about that. It's too much. I mean, everybody. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. And here we go on the drum. And this is one of the ways we play, but in the upright, it'd be a doom like this. This is a very quick lesson. And then this is ta right on the rim. My non-dominant hand holds the drum. If you don't have a drum, you can put, pick up a book. Right? You play like this. Book. No excuses. We want you joining us. So. The stock pod works well here. Oh, there we go. So doom, open hand. Tuck rim. I'm using two fingers. This is more the Moroccan style way of playing the frame drum. Doom, and then pa. Closed hand. Okay. Open. Rim. Open. Close. Doom. Tuck. And then pa. So if we were to put it together, doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom, pa. Doom, doom, ta, ta, doom, doom. Now, that's the rhythm. And we're not just going to play this rhythm. We're going to have an intention behind it. So we are focusing now on two things. 21. And today, you know, just what, what is in the moment and what lies ahead, not what's in the past. That, that is what we're focusing on for the rest of our time together. And to bring with that rasa, that feeling of, of that, you know, like what, how do you want to feel tomorrow or today? Like, do you, you want to feel good? You want to feel joy? Um, and I really, pray that the goals that you set, you're going to set some really nice goals for yourself by the end of today's call. So this is where you're planting the seeds for that. So as you're playing, if you think about goals that you would like to do in the new year or wishes for the planet, you know, you're allowed as many as you want. <laughs> Here we go. Play whatever you would like. This is the bass rhythm. This is fun. We're just adding a finger here. This is definitely a little more advanced. If you're just starting, stick with the basic rhythm or try. But um, this is our ka.
So staying in the flow of our 2021 intention and really being focused on that, um, I would love to now open it up to any of my uh, Frame Dream Academy grads who would like to share something. Uh, so one of the things that I like to teach my students, encourage them is to get off the drum fence and share. So this is like some people, for some people, this is very terrifying to share. Um, and for others, it's not. So, and it's not just for the grads. If anybody wants to share something, we have a little time for people to share. And you can message me, you can write a message, say, I would like to share, or I can just look at you and I can just call on you. <laughs> So who would like to share something? Maria, would you like to share? Okay. Mwah, we have, you, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to unmute you, but we're good? Okay. Go for it. Great. Okay. Hi. And I'm going to... My English is bad, but I told that. I told with uh, every people in the world is most important the the attention in the essence. The, the uh, is attention in the invisible things and the presence is uh, attention in an I present on my soul. And the power, the potency, potential. potential is the conscience for the big presence in the world, in the, my body. For these three ingredients in the life, for me, is my present for you. Mm, that's beautiful. Gracias. <laughs> wow okay we we are opening it up for people to share i see a lot of my <clears throat> graduates here that are not sharing but that's okay it's it's no no pressure <laughs> um who else would like to share you don't have to be in a frame room academy grad you can be anybody if you just would like to share a rhythm or a prayer or a poem or anything don't be shy oh uh, i kind of want to call on people i know and just kind of just yeah who should i who if you want to oh norma did you just raise your hand i saw you raise i did i did raise my hand marla okay we are gonna we're gonna have you um share hi norma hi there uh, the rhythm that came to me when you asked us to pick something was uh, something that I learned from you and from Glenn, which is Mas Moody. And I would just dedicate it that the next year be a year of love. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Open your eyes, see all the see all the people clapping and, and <laughs> appreciating. Thank it's you. It's a blessing to do uh, to be able to just um, make this to just let it happen in the moment, and that's what I did. Amen. And that's what the drum is there. You know, it's this medicine keeper, and it calls to you when it wants to be played. And you know, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Love to everybody here. Happy holidays. All right, Aaron, is your hand raised because you would like to um, do something? Okay, I'm going to unmute you. Whoops. Uh, there we go. You can unmute yourself. Hello, everyone. 
Hi. Marla, I think I've only uh, attended one workshop with you. It was quite a while ago. Uh, but this is uh, a drum, actually, that has been signed by Lane Redmond. I know that you all are uh, happy with uh, it may be reversed here. But uh, this is one I've taken to many workshops. It was the first good drum that I got. And the first rhythm I learned is from Nubia. And it is, was popularized by Hamza Edin. And uh, my first teacher was a uh, fellow in Chicago who uh, I took my first frame drum lessons from. And he taught me freehand style to start with. So <laughs> that's uh, a tough way. But anyway, this is a uh, rhythm from Nubia. It's an eight beat. And uh, if the dog doesn't start barking, we'll be OK. Can you recite it first for us? Because we have a lot of drummers. Yes. I'd love to hear it. It's uh, oddly, I did not learn it with vocalization. So uh, let's see. Dunka teka, dunka teka, dunka teka, dunka teka. I really never vocalized it. I just play it. So I will do it slowly first. And I don't know how it will sound through this microphone. I hope it sounds OK. And uh, it is a, um, I find it a very calming rhythm. It is the very first one I learned and uh, you can do variations on it. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed and uh, anyone, I'll try to jot down the uh, vocalization if you want, say it later. Yeah, it's a beautiful rhythm. It's it's a challenging rhythm for beginners. This rhythm here was definitely not a beginner rhythm, but can you play it one time and I'll just recite it for people and you can just hear what the vocalization sounds like? Can you play I will, it? and also I can take out the uh, the extra ka, so that may make it easier too. I'll do the basic version of it first and then I will add the secondary. So. You know what? I, I think that um, I want to notate this and send it to everybody in the replay because this is a tricky one to get on the spot. And um, I think that would be really great. Okay. How am I going to do that? How, how will I do that? Um, um, I can actually jot it down and I'll put it in the chat if that would help. Yeah, do that. That would be great. Okay, I'll do that. That's the first rhythm I learned. So I had to get freehand. So that was uh, starting off. Uh, Hard. The fellow is named uh, is uh, Hamid Drake. If anyone cares to look him up, he's out of Chicago. So yeah. anyway, I will uh, sign you, off now. Thank you. Before you sign off, can you do this rhythm? But try to can you speak the um, can you speak the syllables when you're like when you're playing I, it? I, I will try to do it here. Okay, so um, dun pa tech pa. I mean dun yeah. tech pa pa. Tech, dun, pa, tech, dun, tech, pa, pa, tech, dun, pa, tech, dun, tech, pa, pa, tech, dun, ka, tech, ka. We broke it so slowly I, and we got it. So I hope that helps. And I, I will also jot it down and I'll put it in the chat. Great, great. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Yay. So, you know, a tip to learn rhythms that, you know, sound a little challenging at first is just to break it down slowly. So you notice before he was playing it really fast and we were trying to get it and we were like, I don't know. But as soon as he broke it down, you know, and once you learn the drum language, then you are able, you know, to easier um, recite it. So and play it. OK, so who would like to go? Marla, would you be allow me? Would you allow me to go? I can allow. Of course, will I allow you? Anyone can share. Oh, here we go. We would love for you to share. Hi. Thank Tom. you. Yeah, my name is Tom. I'm in Wisconsin. I won't take a lot of time, but you asked for you asked for a little reading, and uh, and I'll offer you this. Uh, I've been leading drum circles for 25 years, and uh, uh, and I'm I, I practice shamanism. So this is what I would offer everybody here. What's most important to me and what I do with people is that they find their own rhythm 
and they find the rhythm that sustains them and strengthens them and allows them to move continuously stronger. And this is the reading I would offer. It's just one line. It's from Oriah Mountain Dreamer. Some of you may know the uh, Oriah or Mountain Dreamer. It's from her invitation, uh, 1994. Just this one line that connects with what I've said. She says, I want to know what sustains you from the inside when all else falls away. So the point being, again, when all else is falling away, the people you can't rely on or anybody, nobody's there, you have your drum and you find that rhythm that sustains you. That's your rhythm that moves you, that empowers you, and it keeps you going. Thank you so much. If you'd like, I'll play a little bit, but otherwise we're good. Oh, we would love for you to play a little bit. <laughs> well, this, this is, you know, I mean, there's not just one rhythm, but, but this is something I would play. Uh, I don't know, hopefully it'll come across. So on foot, your sound is not, um, I know he looks so into it too. <laughs> so I, I don't know if that came across, but it, it's very rapid. And for me, it's important to say shark is in my totem. Shark is in my totem and shark always moves forward rapidly with power. So that's my, why my rhythm is very much that kind of rhythm. Movement, fast, hard, strong, go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Beautiful. In, look, in Lakota, we would say uh, Wopilatanka. Wopilatanka. Big thanks. Wopilatanka. And what would you say? What do they say in Lakota for blessings for a new year? What would they say for that? <laughs> blessings for a new year. Amazing year. Well, I couldn't say those exact words, but the words we always use for acknowledging that we want to do it well and we want to do it right meaning the good way, walk in a good way, we would say, heya hechitu welo. Heya hechitu welo. That means this is how we do it in a good way. We come from our heart. We come from our heart. We're always going to do it in a good way. And that's going to be a blessing to us and to everyone else. And, and, and the lady who just drummed before said she wants a drum for love in the world. She's absolutely right. That's what we all need to do. So heya hechitu welo. This is how we do it in a good way. Aho. Oh, thank you so much. Give him some love. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so, all right. Who would like to share? We got time for maybe one more person who would like to share. Anybody? You don't have to be. It's not open. It's open to anybody. You can share anything you would like. Oh, I see your hand. Hi there. Hi, I'm, I'm Morag Innes. Hi. Hi. Um, I'd like to play some flute just because. Oh, beautiful. Just because I just I've not had it very long and it's so beautiful and uh, so I just want to um, just 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 from for your hearts for love for everyone. So um, I don't know what will come out, but it will. Give us some love. That was really beautiful. Hmm. This is so fun. I could do this all day. <laughs> okay. Well, let's let's open up for a few more people. I would love. Is anyone else like to share? You can raise your hand. You can just 
Do I see any hands raising? Oh, Ruth. Ah, Ruth, I see your hand raised. Now, um, let's just make sure that everyone who is going to share has their sound on their Zoom. Um, this lovely soul, Rachel Kahn, wrote to everybody. She said, I would like to share with everyone that if you want to have sound while you drum, please go to Zoom. Um, anyways, it's under, it's, it's under, I, I can share everyone how to do it, or you can, we could just deal with it. Not, it's a little tricky oh, <laughs> to do. Yeah. Oh, who is that? Okay. So basically you want to turn your original sound, um, turn on original sound and you suppress the background noise, but you do it under here at the bottom left of the screen. There's a, there's a mute microphone and you press the arrow and you go to audio settings. And um, I don't want anyone to have, oh my gosh, hold on. Anyways, if you need help with this before you play, I'd be happy to walk you through it. And we're going to go to Ruth and I'm unmuting you, Ruth. Ruth, you're not unmuted. I don't think I can do this today. I got, I got too much background noise. Oh yeah. Yeah. I got too many people outside my door. So, um, uh. th this, this won't work today. I'm trying to cover fun. over the top of them, huh? You sound fine, but that's okay. Uh, it, is it, does it? Yeah. Okay. I'll go. All right. You sound good, Ruth, honey. It's Norma. Hi there, Norma. I actually did a little drum thing over on my astrology channel on uh, the solstice with the grand conjunction and the, and the two words that I have for this year for 2021 using Saturn as divine order and Jupiter as expansion for all of us in Aquarius because we're moving into Aquarius. So my, my dream and my hope is that we all can open our hearts and let the divine order and the grace and the, the expansion of Jupiter and the wealth coming from all of us letting it be part of our lives as we move forward into 2021. And I'm going to just, you know how much I love creating my own little rhythms. Thank you, Ruth. That was beautiful. I, I felt that. Like I could feel the soul, you know, just the, the joy. <clears throat> We've got to ride the wave. <laughs> we have to uh, ride the wave is very important. Um, okay, so I saw another hand up. Does have anyone else anyone else like to share one, one more sharing? And then we're gonna go to Barbara for our astrology, numerology. Kathy, oh boy. Okay, Kathy, you did it. <laughs> you. Um, riding the wave, as Ruth said, I, in the past three weeks, have been riding a deep wave of grief. Okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> And I'll play that out for you. And I say that because I've lost a lot of people to COVID. And I think we can't forget that those emotions are very real. And in, in some way, we're all feeling that. In some way, there's been something taken away from us. And I pray we all understand wholeness. And we all embrace those feelings as well. And my apologies for being real, but that's where I'm feeling right now. You're representing. Uh, and my, if it wasn't for my drum and my instruments, I think I wouldn't be thriving. <laughs> We all, we, all said, we all said love. Thank you. I mean, I'm usually a really positive, upbeat person, but right now I'm just being real with what I feel. And that's what this does. It brings my heart out and it, it's such an extraordinary instrument. <laughs> so Kathy, for sharing. Um, that's a hard one to come back from, I'm sorry, I know, but. Delay going, delay going off. off. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm in delay. delay. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. Twice. But, but we, we, we a lot, a lot, a lot of and, and and you're representing you represent what needs to be heard. Be heard. You know, you know, it's, 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 it's true, true, right? Right. Like, so many people. Yeah, I, I feel myself feeling a, um, a myriad of <laughs> feelings about COVID because it's been amazing for me and it's been hell. So, it always brings two sides <laughs> and more. Can't hear you. Okay. Okay. We have, we have someone has someone a has a Anyway, anyways, I love you. Love you. I'm glad I'm that glad you can be there. Be there. Be there. Be there. Yeah. Yeah. You guys know Kathy. No Kathy. I'm for, like, for like six months on the months on this. Really well. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's like, like part of part you. Of you. Soul. Yeah, soul. It is. Marla, you're. Your, 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 your thing, thing is, is echoing. echoing.
Big time. Big time. You like it. You like it. it the way to stop all of that echoing and feedback and dropouts is if every single person mutes until he or she wishes to speak. That's the only way to stop it. Oh. Do you hear me normally? Ah, oh, thank you. Whoever heard that bit of wisdom, <laughs> we're all learning together. <laughs> Um, okay, so now I can talk to Kathy without hearing this crazy delay in my head, and you guys all don't have to hear that delay anyways. Um, so thank you for sharing with Kathy, us, Kathy. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. You are you. Are you. I did. When I, when I, I talk, talk to you. To you. Because then it, there's no delay. When two people are unmuted, at the same time there's delay. So I'm going to talk for a second and then I'll unmute you. <laughs> um, I just, I wanted to thank you again. Um, this drum, the drumming, it's, it reveals all, you know, it's like, it's not just the joy and the, and the energy and the bliss, but it's, it's the sad and the sorrow and the pain. And I mean, that's so much why it's a shaman's instrument and, and music just is, is so important. So I really appreciate you giving what you shared a voice in this in our meeting today, in our party, in our ceremony, because it's true, you know, a lot of people are acting like COVID isn't real and like, it's what, come on, you know, it's, it's, so we are sending you so much love. Just I hope you feel that every, every single person here is sending love. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you guys all hugs. <laughs> Okay, so now we are going to go to Barbara. This is really exciting. Now we're in for a treat. Um, and so, again, I want to remind you that we're going to go into ceremony mode again. We've been in ceremony mode the whole time, but you know, with echo delayed in the voice and all that stuff, you can get sidetracked and Zoom settings. So now we're going to really, I want to refocus our energies to go into. Um, a ceremony mode with Barbara and you can unmute yourself Barbara. All right. Can you hear me? You. Hi. So they also have something sweet that they can eat as part of like when they have their 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 dreams and their goals and their you know wishes for 2021. They can eat something sweet. So Ruth was so right on when she was talking about the structure and discipline of Saturn and the freedom and expansion of Jupiter. That is absolutely the year of the energy of this next year. So we're leaving behind in 2020, a, a universal year of four, which is structure and staying at home and having to have a side hustle and hard work and maybe family issues and governmental structures and things like that but that really firm four that is the foundation of things and it's determined and focused but it also causes uh some limitations and delays because it is so sluggish and grounded for lack of a better word um and so with 2021 we are freed of that um it becomes the five universal year. And with the five universal year, year, it is expansion and free. But as you know, everything has a balance. So it's calling us to be adaptable and flexible. There's gonna be some swift changes, um, a little up and down. So we might think we're flying high and then it brings us down a little bit. We've got to regroup. Um, I love the five year in numerology because, you know, we started, it's a nine year cycle, but we start the one year with kind of our vision and our plan. And the five year almost is a re-entry into that, and that you can adjust your little GPS, adjust your pathway, recalibrate where you're going and then move forward with that. Um, so kind of the work that you've done is still thrusting behind you but you are open to a new avenue or a new level. And so there's a lot of enthusiasm, adventure, um, evolution. 
it's a very charismatic and sensual year. We're in our bodies, we're tasting things, we're hearing things, we're feeling things, we're touching things, we're back out in the world. Um, I, you know, there will be, you know, more travel as the year goes on, which is nice. That's definitely a five thing. And um, channeling that midway through the nine cycle is great. So it takes, instead of having total chaos and total freedom, by balancing it with responsibility and discipline, when you have that foundation that you're coming off of or that you've set in place for yourself, it allows you to springboard into your freedom. It's a very empowering number. It's uh, a lot of unexpected opportunities may come your way. Um, risk taking, um, choosing between fear and love, choosing between fear and fearlessness, um, trusting that when you take that leap to what you know your soul is calling you to do, that that next step is going to appear. That if you if you trust and you take the leap and you believe in yourself, that that's going to really um, move you forward. Now, the balance part of it is that we can get into sensory overload. We can get too physical. We can do, uh, we can get into addictions. We can get into overspending, overwatching TV, you know, porn, gambling, whatever. That's the imbalance side of it. But when you bring in that nice discipline, like Ruth said, when you bring in the discipline of Saturn, that foundation, that container, then that freedom is there. And so really we're being called to let go of what no longer serves us what is dragging us down, that old baggage, and um, don't get scattered or carried away or reckless, but really tap into that freedom that you feel, because you are going to feel that energy shift, and take a leap um, into what you really, really want. And I love it that it's like, a, it just is the recalibration of your GPS, I think is what the five is. So as we start that, I am going to, um, I've pulled five cards and sorry, I don't have a really cool setup, but I'm going to show them to you and I'll point to each one, what number they are. And then I'll tell you kind of what that is. So let's see if I can get it. There it is. So sorry, I'm jiggling. That's a beautiful one. setup. What are you talking about? Card one, card two, card three, card four. And card five. So when you look at those, see what resonates with you, and then I'll go over those numbers real quick. Did everyone pick a number? All right. Us, can you show us the um, the cards one more time? The, the pictures, uh, like the, the people might. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull up the picture season. when I pick them. They might resonate with the stones or something. So now um, the first card is the star card reversed. And this says that maybe you're coming from uh, a little bit of a lack of faith after this year and um, that you're having difficulty trusting. You might feel disconnected from other people or other things, but you're always connected. So this the star is always connected to the unconscious and the conscious. And um, you may not be seeing your total abilities just yet as we roll into January 1st, but if you lean in and you trust the divine and you know that you're always connected, um, get to back to your spiritual roots, there's going to be some curveballs this next year for you. It's a little bit of a test of faith, but it's not a punishment. It's a lesson. And when you can lean into it, then the lesson will drop away and give you that freedom of the five year and really, if you can align your daily thoughts with your purpose of what you really want to do that day and align it with your heart, that's really going to be where your freedom is with that one, that you can't just do what you've always done, but really make sure you're dropping into your heart and that will absolutely guide you and that will absolutely be the way. So do some self-care, take care of yourself. Don't push, 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 push. 
but um, lean into that uh, quiet inner time with yourself, that meditation time, and you will reveal what it is that you need to go for. So that is card number one. Card number two is you are full of opportunities this year. So there's so many choices, just like the number five year, you can get scattered, you can have shiny object syndrome and choose things for half a minute here and half a minute there. But if you really think about what's important to you and you choose again from your inner knowing, you will um, be able to have what it is that you want. See past any illusions of uh, what you think you want and listen to your internal guidance. Um, make space for spirit. This is a very optimistic card. You're gonna be very optimistic this year. And if you choose something and you don't like it, choose something else. Look for those silver linings in what you left behind and you learned and go for the thing that it is that you wanna go for. With card number three, this is the sun upside down. And so this is like Leo energy, but it's like burning embers inside of you. It's not necessarily racing out of you just yet, but it's on its way. So play your inner child, reach, um, have fun. Don't necessarily know where things are going, but let yourself explore. You know, Leo, they think they're the bomb no matter what they're doing. And so that's really kind of what you need to cultivate inside of you. This is a permission slip to think you're the shits. And so if you're feeling down and you're struggling to see the bright side and there might be some, you know, little delays or things with your project that you think it's a big fat no because you're getting maybe some little roadblocks and things, it's not a no. It means that things have to come in divine right timing. And so, just pause, reflect, and when you get that go signal in your gut, it's time to go. And to keep that inner light tended, keep that inner light burning. If that means writing affirmations for yourself or drumming for yourself, creating a rhythm, um, let your creative inner being start to come out, but let, let that inner child and the play and the fun and the enthusiasm and the passion lead the way. Uh, card number four is the Queen of Cups. And so um, she is, she's a very compassionate person. She's connected with her thoughts and her feelings. So even though she is a very grounded person, she's very much in her heart. This is her subconscious and her heart right there. And so she's compassionate, she's sensitive. It's the nurturing mother is guiding you this year. So the, that mothering mother earth energy, that trusting your intuition, trusting your guidance, having patience. Um, when you do your work or you're thinking I need to change work or I don't exactly like what I'm doing, make sure it's meaningful work. Make sure it's meaningful to you that it's not just a paycheck. Yeah, we all need a paycheck. But that every day you're like, what is my real purpose underneath what I'm doing? If I'm serving others today, whether I'm a waitress, whether I clean houses, whether I'm the president of the United States, there's a purpose under there that's more than just your job. It's touching lives, it's your vibration. And this vibration of being a compassionate mother, a compassionate, patient person, maybe you're in line somewhere and people are losing their stuff. Your compassionate, patient, intuitive, sweet energy that you can bring to the situation transforms lives. It's not a weak, soft power. It is power. This is a powerful card. And she's in touch with her intuition. So again, look inside of yourself for your own intuitive knowing. That water is full blast. That intuition is full blast. If you think, oh, I don't quite hear it, 
turn the faucet on a little a little bigger, you know? Get say I need a little more intuition, I need a little more guidance, symbology, uh, symbolism, and uh, go for a walk, see what symbols you see. And then the last one is card number five. So this is the Knight of Wands. He is passionate, he's energetic, it's inspired action. If you drew this card, you know what you're supposed to be doing. You've already got the inspiration. Maybe you've been holding yourself back, but he is raring to go. Um, he's got limitless energy. He's, uh, you know, he is, you know, the five energy. He's thrusting forward. He can be impulsive and impatient, just like the five out of balance. But he's the spark of new ideas, and he's ready to go. You can see the little sprouts. He's got the sparks of new energy. He's bold, and he's courageous. So make those bold and courageous choices in your life that you know you need to make because you are hearing the voice of spirit. You are hearing your inner guidance. We're all connected. We can't be disconnected from the source. We're part of the source. It's like, you know, we're the wave thinking we're separate from the ocean. We're still the ocean. Um, so go boldly forth. I think they said that in Star Trek. Go boldly forth where no man has ever gone before. I don't know. So go forth. Um, I hope that this blesses you. I'm so glad to be here with my drumming brothers and sisters. And um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great year. It's going to be a different year. There's going to be some ups and downs, but you have inside of you what it takes to uh, grow, grow, evolve, and be successful. Uh, with responsibility and discipline and uh, complete freedom. Barbara, before you mute yourself, don't mute yourself yet. <laughs> First, we want to thank you so much. Um, and can we resonate with more than one of those cards? Or is it just only one? You can. I, I don't think that, you know, I, if you inside of you know that another card is for you or that two cards are for you, claim them as your own. You have power. Uh, the cards don't the cards don't predict for you. What the cards do is confirm for you what you already know inside of yourself. It's just a visual uh, symbolic representation of what you already know. So if something resonates with you, it absolutely resonates with you for a reason. People are wanting to know what kind of stones are on each one of the cards. Could you please show us that? So the first uh, one had a uh, rose quartz. The second one was a moldavite, which is a, a space glass. It's, um, it's, it's a tektite that came hurtling through space when got a gazillion years ago when uh, a meteorite came to Earth and it was so hot, it melted things in the atmosphere and it made space glass out in the desert somewhere near Russia, I think, uh, or Ukraine. So uh, it's very interesting. It kind of has a connection to other worlds, other planets and other things. Um, I think the third one was just uh, your white uh, crystal. Six pointed, and then this is a fetish from the Zuni tribe. It is a jaguar uh, with the heart line, and then this is a piece of um, turtle shell that was found on the beach. And because um, I live where turtles come up on the beach, and uh, it's been washed a lot by the ocean. Beautiful. Hmm. I originally was going to ask, uh, ask Barbara to do a cacao ceremony <laughs> for this <laughs> and it turned into this, but uh, you have many magical gifts and uh, wait you guys hear her drumming, but I won't ask you to play for us, but I'm, it's... I've got a rhythm. I, got a rhythm. I've got a rhythm like everybody else. Let me turn on my original sound. I love it. Hi. The last time, last time I played, I was crying Kathy. So this time I'm not going to cry. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> So as Barbara plays, you guys, please meditate on your, your 2021 intentions and, and the medicine that you prepared and what, what you resonate with. There you go.
No crying this time. <laughs> that was awesome. And um, so there's somebody there. That's better. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay. There's somebody. Okay. Um, all right, so now we come to a really fun part of our gathering. This is where you're going to get something sweet. Can you guys all show what you have just to sweet? That's that you're, I'm gonna, can we lift it up? I'm gonna take a little picture. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture and show it. You guys, oh, we got chocolate. I think we have a lot of people here are having chocolate. Oh, candy canes. I see a cup of tea. Uh-huh. I see. <laughs> That's great. So. All right, so we're not doing a cacao ceremony, but you know, it's nice to bring in um, intentions and new intentions with, with things like sweet things that you can just remember the moment. So we're gonna have a few minutes here where I'm going to create some ambient, some back, background music, um, and I'm gonna open it up for you guys to journal your uh, intentions, your dreams, your, you know, whatever you're inspired, because now you've been infused with this numerology and the tarot cards. And, um, you know, if one of the tarot cards or I resonated with like all of them, so I don't know, but whatever you resonated with while well, it's fresh in your mind to please just write down, you know, some of the things you would like to feel and explore in 2021. And then when you are done writing and you're like, okay, yes. And then you savor this moment and you eat your thing that you eat or you drink your tea or you pet your dog, whatever it is that will remind you of the sweetness of this moment. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to drum together and you're going to please drum in your power rhythm for 2021. Yes, I'm a big believer in improvisation. So, um, you know, I, I really want to invite you guys to uh, play a rhythm that you've never played before. Okay. If you find yourself playing a rhythm that you know, 
that like feels familiar, go, okay, that's fine, but play something you've never played before. What I just did, I've never played before. Um, and, you know, to, as we learned in our, our reading just now, 2021, it's about new things. And um, there's a lot of positive positivity ahead of us. And creativity is amazing. So the more we can tune into this medicine of creativity, um, it, I, don't, I think it's so beautiful. And of course, playing traditional rhythms is a form of creativity, but there's something extremely magical about creating your own rhythms, creating your own writing, creating your own paintings, you know? So with that, are you ready to create your power rhythm for 2021, my friends? Yes? <laughs> I'm going to keep the heartbeat, okay? Because I'm not going to go crazy on the frame drum because then you won't hear yourself play. So I'm going to keep a heartbeat. And over that, I want to invite you guys to play whatever you want. And when you find a rhythm that you like, like how I would recommend you do this, is that we start with focusing on your intention. You just ate your sweet thing. And you focus on your goals, your dreams, and really hold that in your hands. Like pretend like it's like in your hands. And let your hands just go and drum. And when you come to a rhythm that you like, see if you can repeat it. You know, see if you can remember that. And then, then just work with that. Okay. along with your rhythm, a song.
And this time again, we're going to do the brush. But this time we're going to meditate on our dreams and visions for 2021 and the number five and all the magic. And really feel it in your hands. Feel it. Can you feel your intentions? <laughs> Mine feels furry like a puppy. <laughs> and then let it go. Do that again. I think I think you guys we can really do a second round of intentions. Hmm. Did anyone come up with an amazing power rhythm that would like to share? They're like so excited. They're just like, they would like to share with us. Going once, not all everyone jump at it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, we're not done yet. We are not done yet. Um, so the, these are things that you can do all the time. You don't have to use the new, you know, the New Year's um, um, holidays as, as excuses, right? You can, um, by the way, I've totally ruined my mic stand, just so you know. Like if I put my mic in, it's going to completely, <laughs> so, um, but it was worth it. So these are rituals that you can do on your own anytime. You know, if you need that boost of, you know, just clarity, ask the drum. Seriously, light a candle, play the drum, and the drum will tell you. Or, re, you know, do a tarot reading or journal and, and go to the drum. The combining drumming with spiritual practices is, is really it's what the drum was used for thousands of years ago in various cultures around the world. And so it feels really um, familiar to do this, doesn't it? It feels really familiar to create ritual and ceremony with the drumming. And not, you know, the Native Americans, they do this all the time. And so I want to invite you guys to not just wait for programs to put you together to do this, to really create more ritual in your life with drumming. Maybe that means you just pick up your drum five minutes a day, you know, or five minutes a week, but you pick up your drum and you play, you know, you are all on this call because you're interested in drumming, uh, you know. This, it's a holiday drum party. So it's not like I'm talking about shoes or anything. It's like you're really interested in drumming. And so give yourself the gift of, of drumming. And um, yeah, this is the best gift you can give yourself. As Kathy said, you know, the drumming has helped her with what she's been going through. And I really believe it can help, can help everybody. I mean, I, I would be a mess right now without drumming, you know, and, um, and, and dogs. I'm a dog lover. So I've been going to dog beaches <laughs> for my sanity. But um, it's, it's really important to nourish ourselves this way. And for those of you guys who have people at home, housemates, family members, you know, drumming. Hello, sharing drumming with your kids, your husband, your wife. It's one of the best ways that you can bond. So, you know, if you're more advanced, your kids don't have to be advanced. They could play the heartbeat. You know, even just connecting with the heartbeat together, that's enough, you know? So I really hope that part of your intentions for the new year will be including more drumming in your life and also in your community life, in your um, family life. Uh, my my sister, uh, she's doing music with her kid. You know, it's it's just great to see everyone, you know, bringing the music into their children's lives and their partner's lives. Um, Kathy, you said that you play with your husband and it's like changing. It's like amazing. So the stories just are endless about, you know, the benefits of sharing music in that way. So I am going to have one more treat for you guys today. And I have to say that this is the first time I'm doing this. So I tell my students, you got to try new things all the time. So here we go. I'm, I am trying new things. And so I want to invite you guys to not leave us yet. We're almost going to be done, but we're not done yet. And this is your time to fully receive, receive, receive. And you can put the drums down. Um, you can eat more chocolate, though. You're allowed to have more sweets. <laughs> And um, if anything else comes to you during this meditation um, about your what you'd like to let go or what you would like to bring in in the new year, this is you can you know write this down. Otherwise, just relax um, and enjoy the journey. 
And um, yeah, and and I would I would love for people to type in before I, when I get well I set get set up for this, just maybe one word about their 2021 goals or dreams or for the their goals or the for the planet, you know, sending some vibrations to the world. I'd love to hear what you guys are wishing for. I'm gonna get set up. Freedom, I see freedom, emergence. Regaining innocence and courage, I love it. Light, expand, health, healing for the earth and all of its people. Amen, amen, amen. More love, inner peace, more bravery and courage to speak our truths and to listen to each other with our compassion. Living as the light, yes. Appreciation, expressing joy throughout each day this is beautiful spacious structure to keep me moving boldly forward <laughs> worldwide empathy and equality may we be free from suffering yes peace and healing love for the whole earth letting go of loneliness and fear accept love and joy gratitude for nature that's how you clean your flute before you play <laughs> bring in community being in community with life health happy and free nourish this is beautiful full of self-expression thriving and blooming beyond just surviving these are really beautiful Fearlessness. Thank you, Sarah. I needed to hear that before I do this. <laughs> yes, gathering with your family again. That's really beautiful. We're all going to be gathering with our family again. We're your drum family, though, so you're gathering with us right now. That's so true. Being a part of a nourishing world. Yes. Please take a nice, relaxed seat, lie down, um, and enjoy. About having it not be a real <laughs> paid gig. Sorry, I didn't like that little glitch in it. So here we go. We're doing it again. So.
<laughs> you never know what's going to happen, you know? You practice one thing, <laughs> and the foot doesn't hit it on time, <laughs> but it's fun. So make magic in 2021, you know, live your dreams, help the world, be in service. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for joining and spending, oops, I don't want you to hear my reaper. And there we go, that's better. I want to thank you guys so much for joining and um, for sharing from your heart and everyone who shared today. Barbara, thank you for sharing your wisdom with us of the stars and Ruth of the stars. And um, you guys are so special. And um, I'm going to uh, record this so you'll get a replay. And I truly hope that this has inspired you to drum more in 2021. In fact, if you're inspired when this call ends, maybe you can have a little drum party on your own. <laughs> and, um, you know, really remember that we have this tool. We have this tool that we can use at any time. We can activate and enjoy and use for healing. And so much love to you all. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy holidays to you and your loved ones. Bye-bye. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Aww. Bye. The year of five. Oh, I, I wanted to do a drum roll. Oh, well. I wanted to do a. That was beautiful, Marla. Just Aww. beautiful. Thank you. I don't want us to end. Maybe we should do like a three hour one next time. <laughs> Bye. Mm. So much. That's great. Mm -hmm.